J.M. Barry. <laughs> Sorry, I was writing something very scary. <laughs> um, how is the playwriting business? Excellent, sir. I have a new one up in London this week. It's been an absolute dream. Those who dream by day are cognizant of things that escape those who dream only by night. Ah, hi. I'd come see it, but I don't like to leave the house. Dangerous to leave when there are so many lit candles. But you could blow out the candles. There are far too many. I would definitely miss some of them. No, no, no. Far safer for me to stay here and not see your probably mediocre play. Um, certainly there was a reason you meandered into my foreboding abode so full of despair that no wind dare stir unless upon tiptoe. Mm, there is, actually. Uh, I, I received an invitation to your dinner party. Then why didn't you RSVP via one of the three ravens I sent with the original? Well, I, I noticed something rather odd about my invitation. Why did it come with an under-21 wristband? Well, there will be alcohol, and you are... 14 years old forever? I am not! That's my character you're thinking of, Peter Pan! The lost boy from the fictional Neverland. Yes, but surely all of your works are based on real-life experiences. Oh, sure, some are. Some are completely made up. Like the whole thing about children flying off to a magical land with mermaids and an alligator that eats pirates' hands and a fairy that dies when you stop believing in her. That fairy is coddled beyond belief. If I died every time someone said, I don't believe in you, Edgar, you're my son. Well, it's not like you actually walled a man up in your wine cellar, right? It's not like you actually held a masquerade to protect yourself from a plague, right? You're not really stalked by a prophetic raven. Exactly. None of those things have ever actually happened. None of them. So, I'll be able to drink at your party? Well, I will have to see some proof of age. Well, if you're going to be mean about it, then I just won't come. Well, suit yourself. And when you are ready to speak to me like an adult, you can come down from your Iron Maiden, I mean your room, I mean... You don't even live here. I'm telling Lenore. Fine. Fine. Where are you going? Out. Well, take a jacket. It, it'll be cold. Just take a light jacket. Is Rudyard Kipling going to be there? Second star to the right and straight home till morning, loser! That was uncalled for.